Today we've got some news about the 2022 Chevrolet Colorado and specifically a new and exciting trim. In this video we're talking about the changes to the 2022 Colorado and talking about everything you need to know about the new Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss. That's right, they're bringing the Trail Boss name to the Colorado. Now this model competes with vehicles in the mid-sized truck segment, stuff like the Toyota Tacoma, the Ford Ranger, the Nissan Frontier, the Jeep Gladiator, and the Colorado has been out for a few years. And for 2022, we see the addition of the Colorado Trail Boss. So what does the Trail Boss package get you? Well, it is optional on top of the LT and Z71 models. The content includes a one inch leveling kit, front and mid vehicle skid plates, 17 inch ZR2 accessory wheels in black. The Colorado and Chevrolet bow tie emblems are also black and the red tow hooks have made a return um, plus the elimination of the front air dam, which is pretty cool. So this is one step or maybe a couple steps below the Top Dog ZR2 model. Now the ZR2 model is of course the ultimate off-road Chevrolet Colorado. That has the rear locking diff, the front locking diff, it's got the crazy off-road tires, um, it's got a different front end for additional approach angle, but the Trail Boss package is now a more basic way to accessorize your LT or Z71 for a little bit more off-road capability. So the one inch lift is a good thing. More clearance is always nice. The ZR2 wheels in black, you know, more of a styling thing, but also pretty cool. Um, Colorado Chevrolet bow tie emblems in black. Once again, definitely more of visual um, distinction. And then red tow hooks. Tow hooks have gotta be red if you wanna use them out on the trail. That is now a fact. Uh, and then the illumination of the front air dam is probably my favorite part about this package because the front air dam, while good for fuel economy, is a detriment for off-road ability, especially when dealing with rocks and mounds and stuff that you will scrape on the front end. So, we don't know how much this new Trail Boss package is going to add to the Colorado price. My guess would probably be, um, I, I suspect about $2,000 would be my guess if I had to take a stab at it, but uh, it will be available later this summer. So what other changes are there to the 2022 Colorado model lineup? Really not that much. So the engines remain the same. The standard engine is a 2.5 four cylinder with 200 horsepower. Then you've got the available 3.6 with 308 horsepower and the turbo diesel with 181 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Max payload 1550 pounds on the Colorado when properly equipped and the max trailering 7,700 pounds if you get the 2.8 turbo diesel. Um, of course, Colorado still offered in work truck LTZ71 and ZR2 models. Uh, cargo bed still has a two tier loading system and 13 tie down points. Um, there's an available trailering package. The hitch guidance and G80 locking rear diff are optional. Heat in front driver and passenger seats. Heat steering wheel are standard on Z71 and ZR2 and available on the LT. So really not a whole lot of changes to the Colorado apart from this new Trail Boss package. And why are they coming out with this Trail Boss package? Well, in my opinion, it's a direct result of the Ford Ranger Tremor. Now the Tremor is the top dog Ranger off-road trim, but it's a very similar package. So it gives you a little bit more clearance, a little bit better, perhaps a suspension and um, cooler wheels wheels and tires, some additional graphics. It's not nearly as capable as like the ZR2 Colorado. Uh, Ford doesn't currently offer a lineup in um, that segment that competes with the ZR2 Colorado. So Chevrolet, you know, and Jeep have their locking discs and that all to themselves. But now Chevrolet is toning it down a little bit to target the Ranger Tremor with this Trail Boss model, which is a carryover name from the full-size Silverado. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, be sure to stay tuned to tfltruck.com because this week is the Chicago Auto Show and we've got a lot more news coming.